How is God's purpose hinted at from earliest human history? What does it have to do with a lamb? Let's look at how Jesus, the Lamb of God, was slain from the beginning and how it culminates in Revelation chapter 22. In Genesis 4.4, Abel also brought a gift from the best portions of the firstborn lambs from his flock. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift. Why do you think that Abel's gift to God was accepted and Cain's not? Some people give God their leftovers and others give him their best. Genesis 22:13 Abraham raised his eyes and looked and behold behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the place of his son. Jesus is our substitute ram offering. Exodus 12:3 Speak to all the congregation of Israel saying On the 10th of this month they are each one to take a lamb for themselves according to their fathers households a lamb for each household we are introduced to the passover lamb a symbol of our passover jesus why does god say in isaiah 1:11 i take no pleasure in the blood of bulls lambs or goats it's no use offering without a change of heart Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, reprove the ruthless, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. Isaiah 53:7 Like a lamb that's led to slaughter, and like a sheep that's silent before its shearers, so he did not open his mouth. This detailed prophecy of the Messiah's suffering has made it obvious to many Jews who their Messiah is. Acts 8.32 John 1.29 John the Baptist knew who Jesus was because he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John prophetically spoke of the purpose of Jesus' mission from the prophecies of Messiah coming as a sacrificial lamb to atone for sins. Luke 22, 8. Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, so that we may eat it. What did Jesus think as he sat there eating with his disciples, knowing that all the Passovers were going to culminate in his death on the following day? 1 Corinthians 5, verses 7 and 8. It wasn't necessary to keep the letter of the old festival, but its spirit in purging of the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Why? Because Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed for us. 1 Peter 1 verses 18 and 19 You were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold from your futile way of life inherited from your forefathers, but with precious blood, as of a lamb, unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. Jesus died to atone for sins once for all. Revelation 5, 6 I saw a lamb that looked as if it had been slaughtered, but it was now standing between the throne and the four living beings and among the twenty-four elders. This literally means a little lamb, and also highlights his resurrection because he's now standing. Revelation 5, 8 through 14. The four living beings and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. This is amazing. The purchased from every tribe and tongue and people and nation will reign upon the earth. Angels will say with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Revelation 7, 9 And behold, a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation and all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes and palm branches were in their hands. Finally, 
what God planned from the beginning happens. Revelation 22, verse 1. After peace reigns on earth, a renewed heaven and earth will be made, and in that new place will be a river. Then he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the beginning, Abel offered God his best, and so, unlike Cain's, his offerings showed honor to God. Passover hinted at Jesus, who became our Passover lamb, to take away the sins of the world. After his second coming, he will bring world peace, and the heavens and the earth will be renewed and come together. God's purpose from the beginning has been life evermore for us, and is pictured in the river of life flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb.